Hi everyone, this is Shali Kumar again from OSCE Nurse Training Cambridge. I'm an experienced OSCE Nurse Trainer for the NMC OSCE exam in UK and also the lead trainer for OSCE Nurse Training Cambridge. I'm back with another NMC OSCE video for you. So if you like my videos, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel. And you can also, if you're interested, you go and check our Google reviews on our Google advertisement page about what nurses have been saying about our training and how they have found it. Okay, if you are thinking to do training and wanting to make that decision uh, with clarity, then go and check out those reviews. You might find them useful. Okay, so today's video, we're going to look at fluid balance. I've already done a video on it, but we're going to look at the quick steps today and how to do fluid balance chart. So it's a fluid balance simplified, okay? So I'm gonna give you 12 steps and how we're going to complete our uh, fluid balance chart correctly in those 12 steps, okay? So fluid balance. So as you know, it's a clinical skill. It's a written clinical skill. It's a 12 minute skill in your exam and it is done with a calculator. So they give you a calculator and a pen to complete this. Uh, other thing is uh, you might see on the NMC website, on the test center website, it says four scenarios, but that's just, they have four different kind of scenarios in test center, but you will only be uh, working fluid balance out for one single patient scenario, okay? So they're going to give you one single patient scenario and you have to work out the fluid balance for that 24 hour period. Okay, so what you're going to get, so if you look at the screen, so you are going to get a summary sheet. That means it is the summary of what your patient had to drink, uh, also the IV fluids they had in last 24 hours and their output in last 24 hours, okay. Now there are different uh, obviously things, uh, milk, coffee, tea, we are not interested in what it is, but we are interested in how much the amount is, okay, to go on our fluid balance. Uh, and then you got IV fluids and then you got the output. Output, normally they only give you like urine output, okay. So what is your job? Your job is to transfer all that information accurately onto the next chart, which is your fluid balance chart. As you can see, it's a colored document. Uh, it's, uh, it's the same document you should see in your exam because it's uh, given, I've taken it off the NMC, um, uh, you know, uh, from the uh, supporting document they, which they have released at test center so it should exactly look the same in your exam so your job is to transfer all the information from the summary sheet onto this blank paper and they give you two copies just in case if you make a mistake or you can ask for another copy if you make a mistake okay uh, so they you need to transfer all the information and work out the fluid balance for your patient in that 24 hour period okay so that's what it is okay so the next screen now um so just going back to the last screen fluid balance chart what do you uh, see on it is it intake side on it is output side on it okay the patient details are on the top then intake side outside uh, output side and then you can see the time column in blue so time column is that 24 hour period so uh, like you can see the boxes for eight o'clock nine o'clock ten o'clock eleven twelve so on okay till next day seven o'clock in the morning so the first thing to remember is every box belongs to 59 minutes okay so eight o'clock box is from eight to eight fifty nine nine o'clock box is nine to 9.59 okay so anything patient had to drink or eat say he had 8.35 he had a glass of water that would still go in 8 o'clock box you don't need to change the time to 8.35 just put it into 8 o'clock box so that's important thing I wanted to mention you okay so uh, next one is um, so if you go back to the summary sheet uh, let's start doing our steps so let's go back to the summary sheet let's have a look um, so what we need to do with this. So oral is simple. We're just going to transfer those values to the oral part of the fluid balance sheet. Uh, obviously, urine output is simple. We're going to transfer those values to the urine output, uh, to the output side of the uh, fluid balance sheet. So that's simple. What we do need to do is our IV fluids. We need to work out the hourly intake because obviously we can't just take all whole 500 mil or 1000 mil. Your scenario could be 1000 mil. 
अब यूज ए फाइव हंड्रेड मिल बैग हेयर सो वट एवर यूर सनारियो इज सो वी कॉन्ट स्टिक द होल बैग इन वन आवर कैन वे सो वी ऑलवेज एक्चुअली गिव फ्लूड्स ओवर आवरली सो वी नीड टू नो द आवरली रेट ओके बिकॉज वी नोमली इन यू के गिव फ्लूड्स थ्रू ए पम्प सो वी हैव टू प्रोग्राम द पम्प टू से हा मैनी मिल्स पर आवर दिस बैग इज रनिंग एट इफ यू नीड्स टू स्टार्ट एट टेन लाइक यूर इन सनारियो एंड इट फिनिश इज एट थ्री ओ क्लॉक हा मैनी आवर्स वी हैव गिवन ए ओवर सो दैट इज फाइव आवर्स ओके सो इलेवन ट्वेल्व वन टू थ्री सो दैट फाइव आवर्स सो वी गिवन ए ओवर फाइव आवर्स सो वट वुड बी द आवर ले इनटेक सो फाइव हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव दैट हंड्रेड मिल्स पर आवर ओके सो यू कैन राइट ऑन दिस रफ शीट इफ यू विश टू बिकॉज एग्जाम इन ओनली मार्क यू फ्लूड बैलेंस चार्ट नॉट दिस शीट सो दैट्स द फर्स्ट जॉब यू नीड टू वर्क आउट दिस वन ओके सो यू रियली नीड टू गो हैड एंड वर्क आउट योर hourly intake for fluids correctly now i've just giving you example but your fluids could start at 10 finish at 6 5 whatever but i'm just giving you an example here this one started at 10 finished at 3 o'clock so it means i've given over 5 hours okay so next thing what we are going to do is uh so we going so that's the first thing we need to do uh, and second thing i've just put it on to the same temp uh, slide here i already mentioned it to you so if your patient has something at 10 past 11 quarter past 11 it still goes in 11 o'clock box same for output like there is something at uh, 10 past 1 For urine, so you just put it in one o'clock box, okay? So it belongs to one o'clock box because every box represents fifty-nine minutes, okay? So let's go on to the next slide now. So how do we complete it? Here we go. So num first thing you need to do is um, add your patient name, uh, add the date of your exam, and then the hospital number which is given on the summary sheet, okay? So add that first. That's the first job. next screen next is we going to do the oral intake okay so we going to can, can you see the column for oral i have uh, highlighted in yellow so that's the column so go into exact times from your summary sheet and transfer all the information correctly on to this column okay so say your patient had 8 o'clock 150 mils 9 o'clock 100 mils whatever it is just put it into right boxes for oral you don't have to write tea coffee milk or whatever they had to drink but you just need to put the actual amount okay so that's that uh, moving on to the next screen so your next step is now add parental fluids okay so that is your iv fluids as you can see on your screen it has three columns okay for parental fluids so in the column first when you started the fluid put the name of the fluid okay so what bag have you put on to uh, put up for the fluid so name of the fluid so 10 o'clock we stuck a bag up for normal saline so we just going to put normal saline that is started at 10 o'clock then you really just need to clearly Uh, count your five lots remember because we are giving in this scenario we giving fluid over 5 hours and we said it was 100 ml per hour so i go 100 ml 1 at 10 o'clock then 100 ml 2 100 ml 3 4 5 so i put all that fluid from starting at 10 o'clock five lots because i am giving it over 5 hours so this is the only way to do this accurately you need to know how many hours you are giving it over and count that's the how many lots you need to put in starting at that time so we started at 10 o'clock we put the name of the fluid in the first column next way we don't need to keep repeating the name of the fluid for every hour no just put it at 10 o'clock so it's obvious that the bag started at 10 o'clock then we given a 100 mil over 10 then 100 mil 11 1200 mil 1300 box will say another 100 mil and the 14 mil box will say another 100 mil so that your five lots finishing at 3 o'clock there is is nothing in 1500 box because we are taking that uh, fluid bag down at 1500 okay because that was the finish time so the five lots you count or your eight lots six lot how many hours you are in, in your scenario that's what you have to do the principle is the same okay so that's your iv fluid gone in now right next step is we going to go to the output side of the chart and add all the urine in the correct place okay they normally don't give you any 
uh, thing for the drains or uh, like stomach content like vomiting or anything I've not seen in exam uh, so you, you it's just only normally urine output so if you can just see you just uh, take all the information from your summary sheet and put it correctly in the urine uh, column okay corresponding to those hours which are your uh, on your summary sheet okay so we got that in so that's that next step now is now pay particular attention to this one okay so next step says hourly total can you see on the next screens so as you see on your screen uh, hourly uh, hour intake and hour out hour total and on intake side and hour total on output side what does that column means hour total our total means total for the hour so if you look at the intake side first at eight o'clock your patient only had 150 mil in that hour so that's 150 mil at nine o'clock they had 100 mil again oral so that's the total for that hour it means what patient had intake or output just for that hour is 100 mil 10 o'clock another 100 uh, so they didn't have any oral but there was 100 mil of iv fluid so that's your hour for that total uh, total for that hour is 100 mil and when you look at 11 o'clock it's quite interesting total of for that hour is 200 of oral plus 100 of iv so total for that hour is 300 mil so you apply that principle to the whole column until your last intake so finish that with your calculator then you go to the output side and go on to the hour total uh, for output side and complete that as well which will be quite simple because it's only urine so it's 800 at 8 o'clock 300 uh, mil so that uh, uh, total for the hour will be 300 mil then you go to one o'clock is 350 so total for the hour will be 350 or so on okay so you finish both columns okay using your calculator now the next one stay with me so just remember we already done uh, our total our total is total for just that hour okay so it could be just uh, oral fluid could be combination of oral or an iv plus iv okay so uh, an iv so that's what it is now num uh, next is the total intake column on your screen and the total output column on your screen so what does that mean total intake or total output means running total cumulative total okay that's what it means different people say different things but running total cumulative total uh, that's what it is so the total in the patient body by that time okay so that's thing you in for intake and total your patient has passed so far for urine by that time okay so if you look at eight o'clock box uh, is 150 mils uh, obviously in that box because your patient only just had we started the fluid balance at eight o'clock so the cumul cumulative turning total by that time is only 150 mil overall okay uh, for 150 mil but when you come to nine o'clock box uh, he had another 100 mil of uh, oral fluid so for for the total column box for nine o'clock that little box in the total column box for nine o'clock should be should say uh, what is your uh, this box plus previous box so as you can see i've highlighted so this this uh, nine o'clock uh, uh, for the hourly total box it was 100 mil plus the previous 150 so the cumulative running total by nine o'clock is 250 mils okay so that's the thingy so uh, total column box means this hour plus previous hour so 100 plus 150 from previously by this time now by nine o'clock patient had has 250 mil already for oral uh, for sorry intake okay total intake in their body is 250 mil now if you go on output side we're going to apply the same principle on output side uh, so you can see at 800 eight o'clock they pass 350 mils but by the time you come to 1300 the total output by that time is 300 from 13 uh, uh, 300 mils from uh, 1300 box plus 350 from eight o'clock box so the running total is 650 mils okay so that's how you work out your cumulative total so you need to go all the way down until your last output and all the way down until your last intake 
so that's where you stop you don't need to go any further than that and work out your cumulative totals on both sides now the next step is the balance so the balance as you can see on your screen is the difference between two big numbers so our cumulative total for intake was 2000 mil by the time we came to that end of that last intake it was 2000 mil and the total output by the time the last intake was which was last output was which was 2300 11 o'clock at night it is 1880 mils those are your two big numbers so obviously the balance will be the difference between the two numbers so if you work out the difference between the two numbers is 120 mils so that's your balance and that's what you add to your balance box now the next screen is this balance positive or negative obviously it's positive because your intake is more than the output and if it's other way around it will be negative so this balance is positive so you write in uh, in the words positive don't write a in plus or minus sign okay so that's a very common mistake so positive so write in the word and the next screen is your last thing to do is now add your print your name in and add your signature to your fluid balance and that's your fluid balance complete as you can see on your screen so everything is done okay so i hope you like this video and hope it makes it simplified for you how you need to complete and learn the principles of iv fluid uh, fluid balance chart and apply to your different scenarios so i hope you like this video and make your life easier uh, so if you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also visit us on oskinnurstraining.com or email us at oskinnurstraining at outlook.com. I will soon be back with another video for you. So bye for now.